Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is Stay strong. We might, we might have to fight until the beginning of September. What do I mean by we have to fight? Fight the good fight, the fight of faith. Stand strong. Do not give in. We are in that 40 days of the birthing period. Birthing and purification. So that we can stand before the Son of Man. At that time the enemy will come against you. He wants to stop you by all means. But he will not be able. Because you are fighting the good fight. You have volunteered. You are standing for the kingdom of God. You are a harvesting bride. You are called and separated. You have the white token already in the hand. And that white token is your boarding pass to New Zion. Your entrance for the gate to, the, to New Zion. Where will where your resting place will be, where you will have blessings and resources available, and from New Zion you will then go out into the into Abraham's bosom and the dragon layer to set the captives free, to continue and to finish the work of Jesus. Why do you think Jesus has said the time will come when you will do even greater exploits than I have done? He knows that his harvest will only be completed at the end times. Brothers and sisters, fight the good fight. Stand for the kingdom of God. Seek the Father as never before. If you have not yet volunteered for the harvest work, then do it now. Fall before the feet of the Lord and tell him, Please, Lord, choose me as your warrior in the remnant army of New Zion. Allow me to be your harvest workers, to bring in the harvest of the ages. Allow me to be your bond servant. Out of all the harvest workers that are called for such a time as this, when we reach a sick seal, the Lord will seal his 144,000. Why? Because they have proven to be the powerful warriors for the kingdom. Would you send inexperienced warriors into a battle? No, you won't. First, you test your warriors in many scenarios. And when you see, oh, this one is a special good warrior, you will take him out and choose him for a special assignment. And that will be the 144,000 who are the first fruits redeemed from the earth for the Millennium Kingdom. Never forget that it's all about the return of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. It's all about the Kingdom. It is all about who will sit on the throne. It's not about religion. It is not about your denomination. It's not even about what you believe. No, it is all about who is the rightful heir to the throne of God the Father. It's about a Millennium Kingdom, an everlasting Kingdom that will be established here on Earth. And you have an adversary who is standing against it as an imposter to the throne, who wants to sit on that throne and not Jesus. That's Satan, and we know that. We know that this will happen. Brothers and sisters, never give in to the tactics of the enemy. And if you wonder why now my picture has gone in a different color, that's because I have a power cut. But since I'm on a laptop, I can continue with the video. Brothers and sisters, do not give in. Let the enemy not stop you, no matter what will happen. Fight the good fight for all to see. The most powerful time now, the birthing of your destiny. It's painful. Yes, it's painful. Of course it is painful. Every birth is painful. But the days will pass and once a child is born, once your destiny is born, you will be so powerful.
powerfully and so strong. And you will belong to the kingdom alone. And you will be a powerful warrior in the remnant army of New Zion. And you will be a harvest worker. A great and powerful harvest worker for the Lord. Chosen, separated, put in place. By the Father. As a true son or daughter of the Most High. Now it's the time to fight the good fight. Now it's the time to stay strong. Even if we have to go to the beginning of September, to the start of the Feast of Trumpets, what does it do with a difference? We know more attacks will come. We know that we, that we will step forward and that we have to, once we step forward, that the enemy will come and attack us on all sides. But we saw the water breaking. There was water all over the world. We saw then the fires, the ring of fire. And now when the head will come forth of the destiny, that's the crowning now. Then the baby will be born. Then the destiny will come forth. Don't you see that pattern to the Revelation 12 sign? Where also a birth will be done. And finally, you have to understand, where will you be taken to when you have finished your race strong? To the throne of the Most High, to Mount Zion. Because we read there, on in it's, it's Revelation 6, for the sixth seal, we read clearly, the people are afraid of the wrath of the Lamb and the one who is sitting on the throne. That's the Father. And when you be raptured into paradise, you will be taken into the house of the Father. And that is Mount Zion paradise. Oh, brothers and sisters, once we have finished our work here, our kingdom work, not a worldly work, nothing we have to work for, the kingdom work that we do out of love for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, once we have finished that good fight, once we have finished the race strong, once we have brought in the harvest, then the reward will be so mighty, so powerfully. Do not think about escaping now. Do not think about running away now from this world. But think about serving the Father as never before, no matter how painful. Every one of us feels it in the body, in the mind, in our hearts, in our souls, that this is a time of birthing. Followed by 40 days of Jesus walking with us for instruction and repentance in the pattern to Moses. Because when Moses came down the second time with the, with the, with the, uh, the, the, the Ten Commandments, with the tablets, they also the people had to repent for what they had done before. So 40 days of repentance and then they received the new tablets, the Ten Commandments. So that's the same for us. 40 days with Jesus here on the earth is 40 days of repentance for, for what the world has done and a few people will join our ranks, last minute volunteers and the others will be taken into New Egypt. All this is already put into stone and into the wonderful masterpiece of the end times of the Lord. Fight the good fight. Stand for the kingdom. Reject Jezebel and any Babylonic spirits. Reject the world and the churches with their religious spirits. Jesus was never about a religion. He was all about, always about the kingdom. It is a kingdom that is of, of the only interest for the end times. The kingdom, the return of the king of kings and lord of lords, the establishment of an everlasting kingdom on earth, a millennium kingdom. And Satan will do anything he can to stop and, and avoid that. He wants to be the god over the little g gods here on earth. But you will stand as a powerful warrior, as a true ambassador of heaven, as a true son and daughter of the Most High, put together in the birth of the sons of God. Here on us. You will stand against him. You will be the banner and standard that the Lord is raising against the evil flood. Rejoice. Don't 
don't seek understanding in your pain but rejoice not that you through, through the Lord Jesus and his name and his power and his light can rebuke demons no rejoice that your name is written in heaven brothers and sisters be blessed be blessed the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.